Little Uzi Vert was just kind of, kind of attacked on stage. Not really, though. And that just leads me to think, is there a war on rappers in these foreign countries? Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. BBN, Jack Frost. What's up, party people? Alright, so... Yeah. So, uh, apparently... I mean, you got one job, security. One job. <laughs> so, apparently, Lil Uzi Vert was prevented on getting on stage with Gunna because the security... Who only had one job? Didn't know how to do it. Okay, so real quick, before we go into in, into any other stuff, realize Lil Uzi's work, he has a lot going on right now. He got an album he's been trying to get dropped forever. I think he's been releasing singles as of recently. Like, you know, because one of the ways that you can be hurt in any type of genre, like media, when whenever you're uh, an artist or somebody that has to produce um, for the media or whatever the case might be, you know, different media is part of me. Like music is a media, um, movies are media, uh, television shows are media, you know, uh, the, the aspects of a media, visual, auditory, uh, reading something. You understand what I'm saying? So whenever you need to be able to produce things in order to be relevant and your ability to produce this thing is, 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 is halted or prevented your relevancy can go down. That's like, let's say you're just on a platform and for whatever the reason is, you're not able to upload content or you upload content, but your content doesn't reach anybody. Then that's going to halt your success. That's going to put your success to a minimum. That's going to prevent you from growing. Okay, so when we hear that little Uzi Vert has a song that has a, his, his music hasn't been able to be dropped because his album is being held on to or whatever the case might be, you could only, when you are a fan of his, be happy that you are able to hear little snippets or little singles that he's dropping. So I just want to, I just want to speak on that real quick because I wanted to talk about that before and I just, it just isn't enough for a whole video for me to talk about. So, uh, the fact that little Uzi Vert isn't able to drop music, that also goes back to stuff that I talk about a lot on this channel, especially, um, last year I was speaking about this a lot, how they are artists that are being held back and one of the ways that you hold an artist back if you're a label is preventing them from being able to drop music because most of these artists don't have control over their music or when or if they drop an album anyway so little uzi vert was trying to get on stage with gunner who as everybody know he collaborates with or has collaborated with for everybody that don't know they were actually at a weekend festival in finland so they was in another country when this happened it wasn't like there was some american security officer that didn't know who little uzi vert was but also um when you're uh, the headliner or should i say when when you're at the front of a movement usually one or two things happen Usually, your, the people that are part of your movement, they start dressing more like you, doing things that you're doing because they're jacking what you're doing. They like what you're doing. They really mess with it. So they, they, they're, you know, um, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. It's a situation like that. Or if you're a person, and this is usually what clout chasers do, what they do is, he's not a cloud chaser. I'm not accusing little Uzi Vert of being a cloud chaser. But what they would do is, a cloud chaser, they're going to see a movement already happening. And then they're going to go try to use aspects of the way a person dressed, the way a person talks, the way a person goes about their business in order to chase that clout. You understand what I'm saying? So that's neither here nor there. So I know I'm talking about a whole bunch of other stuff because I, I find this stuff funny. And this is, I haven't had the opportunity to talk about Lulu Uzi Vert before. 
recently. So there's a whole bunch of stuff that I want, as you could tell, I want to get off my chest. Anyway, so he tries to get on stage and the security prevents him from getting on stage. They they grab him up. They do they like Treyway out here. They making sure don't nobody touch the don't them. The only person, the only person that's gonna touch the primary is us. Ain't nobody else touching the primary. And that's the way they coming off. Cause these guys is jumping on stage. They snatching up little Uzi Bird. Gun is yelling, like, yo, what y'all doing? We had this. But that's also why you have to talk to the um there's a good chance that they already had this plan, Ludi Uzi Vert and Gunna. This is already probably something they had planned. You know, we're gonna get a fan something. Fans wanna see Lil Uzi Vert. We're gonna let you jump out and surprise. But y'all gotta tell the stage managers. Y'all gotta let security know that this dude right there with a million tattoos and piercings is about to jump on stage with you. <laughs> because if you don't, realistically, it could have been anybody. These guys, I don't even know how much English do these guys even speak. You know, not, not to be disrespectful. They might speak English in Finland, for all I know. You know, I mean, I really don't know. I think they do speak English, though. But that's not the point. You understand what I'm saying? Is it Finnish a language? Can somebody check that out? Put it down in the comment section. Is Finnish a language? And if we do got anybody from Finland that's listening to this video, shout out to y'all. Anyway, real shout out. Not to the security officers, though. They could, they could eat up. They're not, not a shout out. Anyway, so... um. Lulu Uzi Vert was grabbed by several security guards as he made his way on the stage uh, with Gunna. Gunna and his DJ, after they noticed what was happening, that he was being restrained, they went over, they tried to calm the situation down, which they did. They calmed the situation down. And then um, Lulu Uzi Vert was able to get on the stage and, you know, do they dance and stuff and, and hype the crowd up and the crowd was getting pumped up. Yo, I'm going to say this much. It might have got dangerous in there if they would have did something to little Uzi Vert. <laughs> Yo. Yo, he got them backpack fans. He got them, he got them like, you know, them like no disrespect, but he has them fans that cut or something. I mean, you know, that is out there. Something might have happened. Like, they would have hurt little Uzi Vert. Like, they, the stage might have got rushed. Like, on some real, not even joking, on some real stuff. The stage might have got rushed. It probably, I don't know if they got bottles in there, but bottles might have been getting thrown. All types of shenanigans would have came out of nowhere. They would have hurt Lil Uzi. That one of them had picked. Imagine what would have happened if one of those security guards would have picked up Lil Uzi Vert and slammed them. They might have. That that the, the dang riot would have probably reached the outskirts of Finland. I don't even know where the riot. I don't even know where the, where the particular festival was being held. But it would have been like you ever watch the movies and they have like the freaking um the zombie plague epidemic and it like it'll just they show a map and then it'll just that's what would have happened. The riots. <laughs> the riots would have been. It would have been to the point that by the riot by the time the riots reached certain parts, nobody would even know how the riot started. They would be like, "Yo, how did all of this start?" If somebody would have, it would have been like, I don't know, they would have been talking about there was a food shortage, who knows. Anyway, let me know what y'all guys think about this. Leave <laughs> the comments down in the comment section. Um, that's, and and just uh, just some more little Uzi Vert stuff that y'all might not know that uh, he, besides not being able to, besides not being able to drop his album, I think he turned down some tour dates or something like that. Like, there's a lot going on with that guy. I remember a while back, he was trying to, he was talking about he didn't want to be signed no more. Like, he was upset with the contract that he had. And I think that has a lot to do with uh, Sidebar. I think him being upset with the contract just has a lot to do with what's going on in general. A lot of these guys is finding out that, that they're not making the money, that the majority of the money that they're actually the, the the money that's being made off their music they're not getting you understand what i'm saying like think about it like this L um little wayne is still touring little wayne's a g in the game why is he still touring year round that's crazy why in the hell is little wayne still got a tour year round that don't make sense little wayne is a g in the game he should be able to go do a tour every two years or so and still be stacking bread why does Lil Wayne got a tour eight, nine, ten months of the year, twelve months out of the year? They might make a new month just so Lil Wayne can tour in it. Why is that? You understand what I'm saying? So a lot of these new guys, they finding out that these contracts that they have aren't good. They're bad contracts. So you know, 
a lot of them want to get out of their contract. You know, maybe I should have stayed independent a little while longer. That's all I can say. Anyway, um, let me know what you guys think about that. Leave it down in the comment section. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.